Hello, everyone. I pray you are doing good. I pray you are doing well. I pray that the enemy is defeated in your life. Even though I believe we have to go through circumstances to test our faith. I truly believe that. Before I get to my subject, I want to say that as I get closer to God, I think it is insane. Very, 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 very insane to try to live this life without Jesus Christ. <laughs> like the way I am now, I would say even more so, I don't want to do what is wrong, even though I may mess up. I may mess up at times. But the way I am now, it's like, I don't know how to really explain it, but it's like I have a knowing that doing wrong is not going to benefit me at all. And I have <laughs> experienced some things as well. I think the more closer you get to Jesus Christ, I think the more demonic things will get closer to you as well, if that makes any sense to you. So you may believe what is written in the Bible, but I believe sure enough whether you believe it or not, if you continue getting closer to Jesus Christ, I believe the demonic will reveal itself more and more to you, which I believe happens to me. Whether I want it or not, I believe. Anyways, let me get to my point. I want to speak about, or should I say, why go through unnecessary pain? If you are fortunate enough to have someone to teach you about the Bible, like I would say, like a tutor, why not take advantage of that? I don't think everyone has that. Someone who will take out time and go through the Bible with you. Shouldn't you take full advantage of that? For myself, I am learning that you should get as much of the word of God as possible. Like the word of God, I would say runs this whole world. How can you be spiritually successful in this life if you choose to not study the Bible, if you choose to not listen to teachings. If someone is teaching you about the Bible and that person knows more than you, I think you should listen to what that person have to say. Now, I believe we must test the fruit because some things a person may say may not be right. But if someone is showing you scripture, 
of what they are saying and there is a large possibility they are right i think you should listen at the least listen and ask another person to see if that person is correct myself i believe everyone in jesus christ vary in levels for an example not saying it is exactly like this some people may be on a level one two three four let's say all the way up to ten so i would say people in christ vary on different levels so if you have a person on a level six and you are on <clears throat> a level 0.5 or something or 0.25 why won't you listen if you were to listen please listen to what i have to say if you were to listen won't you be able to probably avoid some hardships you don't have to go through wouldn't you be able to escape I guess some danger that you don't have to go through so if you be ignorant and say to yourself even though I am on a level 0.25 or 0 0.10 I am not going to listen to you I'm going to go by what I think is right so in a sense i am going to i hope this is making sense if god has placed a man or woman of god in your life to help you with the bible submit yourself to that person listen to that person do what that person says of course yes test the spirit but ultimately or in general i should say follow what that person says like for instance let's say there is an adult and there is a two-year-old how silly is it for the two-year-old to think that he or she knows more than their parent you are two years old you are in the beginning stages pretty much you don't really know anything we need to get rid of this pride mess i know we all aren't perfect but we need to humble ourselves become more meek get rid of that prideful what can what can pride really do for you has pride really worked for you yet being prideful i believe being prideful hinders progress lower yourself submit yourself do what you need to do to learn more about god if someone is truly trying to help you with the things of God, won't it better your life? If that person is doing it right, won't it better your life? But you are 
for an example. And maturity wise, spiritual maturity wise, you are two years old. And you are speaking to, let's say, a 20 year old spiritually wise, you are talking to that person as if you know something or if you know more than that person, that person may be able to see further than, than what you see. But because of your pride, because of your perhaps arrogance, you aren't willing to put yourself under that person and learn, no, what you want to do whether you say this is what you want or not, you want to go through pain, more pain, more suffering, unnecessary things, if you will, if you just would listen. If you would listen, you probably can avoid much of those things, but as it seems, you want to learn the hard way. How pointless is that? You say you don't like pain, but you are sprinting toward there. Because you are stubborn, because you are hard-headed, because you don't want to listen. What is that? A person is trying to help you avoid much hardships, not going to say all hardships, because I believe we have to go through some things, but a person is trying to get you to avoid some hardships, but your pride is too much. I hear what you are saying, but I am going to go my own way. But when you get into trouble, don't you contact that person or another? What makes no sense? I believe pride makes a person brainless, or should I say foolish, which I don't like using that word. I believe pride makes you foolish. And if you read in the Old Testament, I think in Proverbs, I think it says something about prideful people and foolishness, perhaps. I may have to look it up. But let me stop here. Let's be less prideful. Before I end, there is a person I would tell, not saying I am perfect. Please believe I, I am not perfect. I am not. I am not. There, I don't really do it in these times now. But there was a time when I would tell a person certain things. And as it seems, that person did not really want to listen. Okay. So I believe that person continued having a hard time and I spoke to that person and this was after time I believe and that person was pretty much telling me what they have learned and much of what that person was telling me was what I was telling that person. And when that person was saying to me, I think when that person was saying to me what they have learned, 
I don't think I said anything because not going to say why I didn't say anything, but what use is there to say anything to a person who may be prideful? Because if I was to say, if I were to say, I told you that, like <laughs> what you are telling me, I told you that like way back, like years ago, like maybe one or two years ago, I told you that. I told you that, but you are now learning that or it has came to your mind to tell me, not sure when that person learned it, but like you didn't learn it when I told you that. Probably if I were to say that, that person probably would have done the same thing again, not really listened. So with that person, I don't really try to tell that person too much about how to be because one of the reasons, because if you tell in some cases, I guess, a prideful person on what to change, maybe that person will blow up on you, see you as a target and start saying mess and unnecessary. So I believe some people have to learn the hard way. It would be nice if a person is willing to change if they are corrected. I guess some people don't really like to be corrected. So with people like that, I assume they are going to have a tougher life than I guess what is necessary, whatever. Let me stop here. May God bless you.